Jurgen Klopp is beginning to make a good habit of keeping Liverpool's cash in the coffers and unearthing their next star. Having installed Kayman Kelleher as the club's deputy goalkeeper and overseeing the continued development of Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott, the Liverpool boss has made it clear he will always hand opportunities to the young players coming through. And despite suggestions a new midfielder is needed. Along with links with Aurelian Tkouamini and Jude Bellingham this summer, it looks likely Liverpool's transfer business is done for this window at least. Speaking earlier this month, Klopp denied the need to sign another player in Liverpool's engine room. How I said, if nobody wants to leave, and no player came to me with that request yet and I don't expect it. Really, to be honest, there is no need for a new midfielder. We cannot just add on midfielders, Klopp stressed. We respect the contracts with our boys as well, that means as long as we sign them they get all our support, in training. Between the sessions, during the games and between the games. That is the situation we have. Really, you can count. Our midfielders. It is that attitude which has also seen Klopp develop and sell on a number of players, including Nico Williams this summer. While putting faith in others to fulfill back up duties if necessary. Yet it is obvious Liverpool's midfield will at some stage likely need reinforcements. Jordan Henderson, Thiago Alcantara, and James Milner are all in their 30s, while the jury remains out on Naby Keita. And Alex Oxlade, Chamberlain, has been struck down with another injury as his contract enters its final 12 months. It may well be that Klopp makes a move for Bellingham next summer, as has been widely speculated, to help fill the void of any departures or aging legs. Bellingham would certainly offer something different in his favoured number 8 role to what the likes of Jones and Elliott provide. However, whilst one arrival looks probable, Klopp may be encouraged to put his faith in Liverpool's academy to further bolster his options in the middle of the park. Despite their increased strength in depth, Liverpool lack a natural holding midfielder to cover for whenever Fabinho is unavailable. Thiago Henderson and Milner can all play as a number 6, and it may be that Klopp sees their futures in a deeper-lying role. But he will no doubt have been enthused by the performance of 17-year-old Stefan Bajcetic throughout pre-season. The youngster has been involved in several friendly fixtures, including Sunday's defeat to Strasbourg. Bajcetic showed a real calmness in possession and good positioning to break up a number of Strasbourg attacks. He also showed great confidence to have a shot at goal from a free kick, taking responsibility over the likes of Elliot, Milner and Fabio Carvalho who were also on the field. Klopp remarked to Liverpool's official website after the match that Stefan played a really good game. The teenager was signed from Celta. Vigo back in February 2021 amid interest from Manchester United. It comes after Liverpool's elite development coach Vitor Matos praised the youngster only a few days ago. Stefan is a really balanced number six and has a lot to grow as well, but how he is right now? He's in a really good moment. What are your thoughts on Bajcetic? Let us know in the comments below. His form also caught the eye of Reds legend Phil Thompson, who said on LFC TV, Bajcetic, he's turning the ball around and is cutting about three or four players out of the game with one pass because he has the confidence and ability. It comes from the academy, it comes from the teaching, how you do it, yes you've got to be safe with the ball in certain areas but be aware of what's around you. With Fabinho still only 28, an adequate cover on hand from the likes of Henderson and Co., Klopp may well be determined to try and nurture Badge Sedek from promising talent to first-team star in the years to come, with Tyler Morton also providing competition. There's still a long way to go for Badge Sedek, but he's certainly made a decent start.